Hi guys, this is Saeed from University of Greenwich. Today we're going to be looking at another area of quadratic equation and this area is called difference of two squares. For difference of two squares, three conditions need to be met. There must be two terms, so we've got one here, two here, one here, two here. They both need to be separated by a negative sign. There's two negative signs there. And the last condition is they both need to be perfect squares. So you can see that they're both squared here and you can see they're both squared here. You can tell that this is a square because 6 times 6 equals 36. We just did the squared part already. To answer these questions, we're going to be factorising them and difference of two squares, they will always be in this form. So it's always x plus whatever your number is and then it's x minus whatever your other number is. And to answer these questions, all we're basically doing is just doing a square root of that number. So the square root of 36 is 6. So we just put 6 there. And that's it. We're done for this example. We can just leave it like that. And that's done. For this example, again, it will be x in your brackets, x plus, and then x minus another, in another set of brackets. Now that we've got our form, x plus and x minus in set of brackets, to find out what goes in there, we're just going to have to do the square root of y squared. And the square root of y squared is just y. So all we've got to do is just put y in there. And that's it. We've answered the question and that's how you solve the difference of two squares.